Yo, what is going on you nerds? Horcrux here. Welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you my top 5 tips and tricks for the Halo Infinite multiplayer. And we're starting right now. Okay guys, so before we get into the bread and butter of today's video, a huge shout out to my patrons and also my community members. Thank you guys so much for funding my bottle cap addiction. Alright, so tip number one guys, you need to brush up on your geometry, your physics, and your mathematics. No, I'm not kidding you. All this will help you with your grenade placement. So grenades are a pivotal part in what makes Halo, Halo. A well-placed grenade can easily turn a 1vx situation into an easy cleanup for you or your team. So there's all sorts of types of grenades in Halo. So there's the shock grenades which shut down vehicles and drain your enemy shields. There's the shrapnel grenades which can easily ricochet and kill people around corners. There's plasma grenades which when you stick someone it's a one hit kill and it's glorious to see. And then your basic bitch grenades are the bouncy boys. Of all the grenades to truly master, the bouncy boy grenades are your bread and butter. The other three grenades are pretty niche scenarios at which they are effective, but the bouncy boy grenades are universal. Everyone has access to these and they're an absolute pivotal part in what makes Halo, Halo. So please lead off your shots with a grenade. If you're being chased, drop it down like a Marty Dom and if you want to get really creative, just throw them up in the sky for those super awesome Hail Mary plays. Okay, so coming in at tip number two is sprinting. While in past Halo, sprinting has been advantageous in getting away from scenarios where you're caught off guard or shot from behind or the sides, in Halo Infinite, eh, not so much. Sprinting doesn't really increase your overall movement speed all that much and you're better off just turning around and trying to man up and hopefully you get a really well placed grenade into a BR shot combo. So to give you guys an idea of how much faster you are while sprinting, I did a frame by frame, one with sprint, one without sprint, and as you can tell by the time codes above, you run about 15% faster once you do the math while sprinting. Alright, so coming in, tip number three is more of an advanced tip for you veteran Halo players out there. I want to try to include a little bit for everyone in this video from the beginners to the veteran to the casual players. So when you're in ranked, Everyone starts off with a BR, that is your only weapon. Now, in BR fights, it is very, very stressful for you to get your four round burst combo off, or the, the perfect kill, so to speak. So, a tip from your boy Horcrux, when you're in a duel in a 1v1, on the third shot, immediately after the third shot between you and your opponent, doesn't matter if they've cracked your shields, doesn't matter how many times they miss, get in the habit of jumping or sliding or crouch spamming after the third shot. This gives you time and really throws off your opponent to land that final headshot and gives you the momentary advantage to land yours okay guys so coming at tip number four did you all know that there are timers on the power weapon spawns so if you're having a hard time keeping track of what power weapons are aware well guess what there's a timer for that this is especially important in rank because controlling the power weapons and your map control is absolutely key into progressing in the rank system now i played all my rank games and they were the sweatiest games i have ever seen i got absolutely stomped still placed in platinum 5 even though i lost half of my games but the reason i lost so many ring matches was just simply the timings for the power weapons so get in the habit of where the power weapons spawn and if you're unfamiliar with what the timers are well guess what it's on the power weapon itself last but certainly not least coming at tip number five you guys may think is pretty obvious is team shotting so team shotting and communication is an absolute pivotal part of what again makes Halo Halo. It doesn't matter if you're able to overpower your opponents with a 2 to 1 advantage, you are almost 100% of the time going to win that engagement. So don't be the solo player as I have been ranked in all of my other social matches and try to be the guy that flanks consistently. You will get turned on and you will get absolutely vaporized by the opponents because they are super reactive and if they notice you are solo, your ass is going to get lit up. Alright, so I tried to keep this video nice, short, and sweet for you casual players, you veteran players, you beginning players. It doesn't matter. Hopefully you found something helpful in today's video. Please eviscerate the like and subscribe button if you want to see more Halo Infinite multiplayer content. I will be streaming 3-4 days a week, Halo Infinite all the time, ranked with my community. So please hit the notification bell icon if you want to be notified for that because occasionally I do put out some pretty decent content. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Horcrux and you all have a great rest of your day. Peace.